Jane Esselstyn. I'm Ann Esselstyn. And Ann's driving today making a recipe from Be a Plant-Based Woman Warrior. And we're going to be on page 79. This is called Tangy Lime and Sweet Corn Sauce. And this is a recipe that we have had, we have been using probably for 25 years. Centuries. And half a century. And we first tasted this at the Casa de Luz in Austin, Texas, when we were visiting our son Rip there. And it, 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 it's such a good s sauce. And there's sort of two stages. And I still personally love the first stage, which I'm going to show you right now. You take at least three ears of unbelievable corn in the summertime. I sweet. Mean, sweet. Amazing. Sweet corn. And we are in the dead of winter. It's supposed to be on top of Mount Washington here at minus 100 degrees. We are in Cleveland, Ohio. We're in Cleveland, where Mount it's Washington, supposed to be New Hampshire. 15. <clears throat> and so when you don't have lovely, sweet summer corn, you can use frozen corn, but it is key that you get corn that says sweet. Uh, this one actually says super sweet. And make sure that it is sweet because if you get just the corn that tastes like straw, it, it's not gonna yeah. be good. So this is a key thing. So into um, a blender, I'm gonna put all the corn. So this is equal to three heads of corn? About three heads of corn. Wait, this is, three this is 16 ounces of corn is three heads, so a head of corn is well, I don't about. think I've had, of course, had that much, but... Okay. And then I'm going to put in about a nice sweet onion. This is a half of a fairly large sweet onion. We get big sweet up. ones at our store. Um, and then I'm going to put in some half a cup. Jane, do you have half a cup? Yeah. Of, corn, of uh, vegetable broth. And I feel so lucky. This is the first time that I have made this sauce when the sweet corn broth was available made by Plant Strong. Corn, celery, onion, carrot. It just looks right. So I'm doing, I'm doing a quarter cup times two. And then what's next? Two. I, I mean a what's, half a cup. What's, what's next? That's it. This is all we're doing? That's it. Zap it up. I think having yellow corn is key because white corn would be kind of things stop like minute. oatmeal. We just stop. Okay, undo it. Let's just scrape this off so we get it. Now, I hate what I'm going to say next is against everything that I like. We put that lid on and start it up. I want you to cook it until it kind of looks like. Wait, spin it or cook it? Spin it until okay. scrambled eggs. Don't like scrambled eggs. Well, when you look, scrambled eggs are fluffy and they have like peaks. <laughs> mean the color? It's just the consistency. All right, that's good. It does look like scrambled eggs. Ew! Into this pot, please. Oh, Jane, you're making a mess. Right now, to be truthful, this is how I love this sauce. And it is amazing. I mean, I don't mean this because not, I'm going to go cook it now. I want to cook it. Do we add anything else to it? No, right now. Oh, no, Jane. no, here. Let's, let's, bring that, let's bring it forward. Let's bring it forward. Whoa. Whoa. Where do we? Let's bring it right here. Here we go. We're going to cook the corn sauce at, at this stage right now and so um do we add anything more there's no nope. other... right now i'm just going to cook it now if this sauce ends up being thicker than you want add more vegetable broth if it and it won't probably be well what what thin. thickness are we aiming for with this sweet sorry tangy lime and sweet corn well, sauce like i have only i've not gotten to the end part the okay. possible end part Okay, and I'm just going to cook it until it just begins to bubble because it just gets all the nice flavors of onion and corn mixed in together with that lovely corn 
broth. I just had a little taste of it, and th th I can see why the sweet corn is key, because you have like this, like you have corn, and then this layer of onion and garlic, and I can't, can't wait to see where it is gonna go next. So, All right, so it's just beginning to, I just don't want it. Oh, to, you even to, say in the recipe, put the mixture in a pan and cook it like scrambled eggs. Yeah. I mean, it, it looks very much like scrambled eggs. And then we cook until it, until it bubbles a little bit here. Oh, we have bubbles Then it's already? just beginning. All oh, right. Wow. That's fast. It's quick. And then I'm going to add the things that, um, oh, you're right. I, 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 where's my, here. Then I'm going to put in a garlic, and I have a garlic press. Because I think at this point, um, hey, my garlic press here wasn't working. I see. I see what's going on. You got the little nub. The nub is right there. Okay. Oh, that was a good one. Let's shave it off. It's like kicking out the skin of the hair of the artichoke cart. Jane, I need to turn this too, too, too high. Too high. I want to just turn it off. There you go. I'm just gonna. Sleep. And then lime I'm going to add some lime zest. A whole lime or just some lime? I'm going to add two tablespoons of lime. Wait, two tablespoons of lime zest? or Lime two, juice. How much lime zest do you want? You know, there is no point in using the lime if you don't use the zest. You just don't ever leave an unzested lemon or lime around. Just zest. So do you want this whole lime zested in here? That's a lot. This is a big lime is what I'm saying. I don't know. What do you think? I think okay. Let's let's. So we have. You're, you're too slow. So we oh, should. I'm not too slow. We're not in a hurry. Cut it in half and. Wait. You, should I keep zesting the rest of the lime? Um, you know, I can. You know what? I'll zest it off, and we'll store it in the. This is called a microplane or a zester, um, and we can just store. Uh, what's your name? Your name is Wade. Can you see how I'm collecting the zest in the no. top of the zester? And I'm just okay. gonna. Let's just put it in. Well, you know what? I want to do. So, I want to make an experiment. Okay, we're let, we're doing the recipe, not no. <laughs> let's try. Okay. In here, all right. You your choice to do with it what you will, and we'll get this ready for the juice. How much how much lime juice do you want? Two tablespoons. Okay, two tablespoons. Oh, uh, 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 one. I, I'm 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 a two. Okay, okay. that was that, the other one was at least that much. Okay, so ah. more more. Let's stop. We don't measure the lime zest, but we measure lime juice. <laughs> well, no, you never, you know, I mean, you know, a lime has different amounts of juice, but it has the same amount of zest. Um, now, no? this is what we're going to do. <laughs> we're Wait. tasting it right now. And if this isn't stunningly delicious right now at this point, can wow. you believe it? That's awesome. It's awesome. It's alive. It is so alive and good. Oh my gosh. This and is great. Wait, you're gonna love this. Now wait, we haven't finished because there is the possibility of adding some white balsamic vinegar, but I have decided that I really like it at this point mm -hmm. with just lime. It is so, so good. You don't need to add that. So vinegar. you don't need to add this. And had the acid queen say that? It's amazing. I'm just gonna add but this, this a bit left in that. right now <laughs> more is absolutely amazing. And, and if you're making it, use all the zest of the lime, and <laughs> and um, you're just going to be in heaven. All right. So we have got little. Anne chose a special grain for us to try this with today. Do you want to talk about this? Oh, I happen to have had last night. We had black rice. And so I saved a little of the black rice for today. I want, I want Wade to try too. So he's got one that we can can more easily. So. So here we go. Um, and you know, if you have rice and beans. Oh, this isn't, this is a scoop. Then you just put, no, wait, oh, Jane. What do you need? C cilantro or. No, I don't have any of this. Here you go. Yum. Yum. Yum, yum, yum. Well, we do. We need cilantro on top. Wait, there's lime zest in here. We eat with our eyes is what she's saying. Okay, here's one. Hang on, look at this. 
Wait. That's, that's amazing. Isn't that amazing? I, I mean, who knew? I, yeah. Who knew? The key to this is making me sure that you cut sweet corn. Even taste it before you cook it, make it. Or, and we have decided that it doesn't mean anything more than maybe just that little garlic and the lime juice. And period. the lime zest. And the lime zest. Lots of lime the zest. zest fest. And we did forget the, whole thing. the balsamic vinegar because it takes, it makes it, it loses its, mm. it dominates. And this way, just the sweet lime is amazing. Mmm. Any lime and sweet good? corn sauce, it's really good. Really good. Sh Ryan, do you want to taste this? I know it's too early. Shockingly good. Shockingly good. Okay, hey, let us know how you make your corn sauce and what you put it on top of. Some other things we could eat it on. We could eat it on rice. You could eat it on greens. You could eat it inside of your little stuffed peppers. Are you, you could... talking now? Or are you... Yeah. We're... Mommy, go. We're... Oh, oh. But you know what you should do is take this and make it thinner and you can put it on top of your greens. I mean, it's, are you sure we're talking? Yes. And I, <laughs> All right. We're you talking. got distracted by Brian walking in wanting to give him this for breakfast. And he said, no, well, we are still talking about any, because corn sauce is not a common thing. Peanut sauce. Yeah. Um, chocolate sauce. Yeah. Corn sauce. What do you put it on? You put it on top of any dish of grains, greens, beans, it's almost like a guacamole. It's it is like, a guacamole. It yeah, works. It's, if we you have rice and beans and just this, corn, you don't need one thing more. Corn sauce. All right, I've almost eaten my whole thing. You haven't had a thing. There's your well, spoon. Because I've been thinking we were talking. Okay. Hey. We're not talking. Enjoy. Let us know. Bye-bye.